சிடி நைன்டி த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ எஃப்எம் நேயர்களுக்கு என் அன்பான வணக்கம் இன்றைய பகுதியில் நாங்கள் சங்ககால கவிதைகளின் பிறகு வந்த பக்தி கால கவிதைகளை பற்றி உங்களுக்கு காமிக்கப் போகிறோம் மிக நன்றி வணக்கம் ஃபார் த பக்தி சீரீஸ் வி ஹவ் சூசன் ஃபைவ் பாயிட்ஸ் அருணகிரிநாதர் ஆண்டாள் ஔவையார் அண்ட் கம்பர் ஃப்ரம் த ஏர்லி பீரியட் அண்ட் கோபாலகிருஷ்ண பாரதி அண்ட் சுப்பிரமணிய பாரதி ஃப்ரம் மோர் ரீசன்ட் டைம்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் பார்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த டூ பார்ட் பக்தி சீரீஸ் we present tirupugal by arunagirinathar select versions from kamba ramayanam and a couple of songs from mahakavi bharatiyar vanakkam my name is ramki murthy in today's podcast we bring you a glimpse of arunagirinathar and a sample of his epic composition tirupugal arunagirinathar who lived during the 15th century in tiruvannamalai wrote tirupugal or the divine glory a book of poems in praise of lord murugan his poems are known for their lyricism as well as their religious moral and philosophical content his father died soon after his birth and he was raised by his pious mother and sister arunagiri is believed to have gone astray in his youth and lived a life of carnal pleasures and debauchery becoming a leper and isolated from society he tried to kill himself when lord muruga disguised as a pious young man saved him and cured him of his leprosy and showing him a path of religious devotion today we bring to you the first song arunagiri rendered muttai tar after his miraculous rescue from a suicide attempt following this arunagiri visited temples all over south india and composed over 16000 songs of which sadly only around 1350 songs have been traced till date his songs show the way to a life of virtue and righteousness and sets the tone for a new form of worship the musical worship incidentally 1964 a biopic tamil film came out starring the popular playback singer pm samdarajan in the title role it featured the song and made it more popular among the masses let us now hear this momentous tirupuga song from ramki set to the shanmuga priya tune He's accompanied by Shreya with a very graceful dance composition. Muttai tharu patti tirinage atti kire jatti charavana mutti kuru vittu kuru vara yena vodum muruga ஒத்த 
തൊട്ടുപ്പറ കൊട്ടക്കള മിസ കുത്തിപ്പുതെ കുക്കുപ്പിടിയണ മുതുകൈ പൊത്തുപ്പറ കൊട്ടക്കള മിസ കുക്കുകുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കുക്കു
He has authored many other literary work like Saraswati Antadi, Sadakopan Antadi, Saliyeru Pata and Aareru Pata. His poetry was so well known that the Chora king honored him with the title of Kavi Chakravarti, Emperor of Poets, as he revived Tamil language through his literary work. Ramayanam, written by Kambar, is the most famous of his works. Kambar named it as Ramavataram. It is not a translation of Valmiki Ramayana, but a grand poetry of 11,000 stanzas where Kambar integrates the divinity and humanity into one character, Rama, using his poetic gumption. With his brilliance in Tamil language, each of his verses are so easy to be made into a music or dance composition and many a dance drama productions have been made on Kamba Ramayana. We will look into one of the sections of Ramayanam in this podcast, Rama Sita Kalyana. The first line of this poetry, Annalam Nokinan, Avalam Nokinan. Just by the variation of how that one line can be sung, the majestic look of Prince Rama and the tender look of Sita could be expressed. This is sung by Sunita Subramanian. Annanum no kinar, avalum no kinar, annanum no kinar, avalum no kinar, annanum no kinar, avalum no kinar annanu no kinar avalum no kinar annanu no kinar avalum no kinar now we will listen to when Sita enters the marriage hall for her marriage to Rama. Here, Kambar explains the arrival of Sita, the beautiful princess of Janaka, Lakshmi incarnation. The beauty of her characteristics and gait comes across through the poetic rendition. It describes the marriage ceremony which invokes the bhakti in the listener while showing the new love which is blooming between Rama and Sita. This is sung by Gayatri B. Oh, <laughs> 
Subramanya Bharati, popularly known as Mahakavi Bharatiyar, is considered a pioneer of modern Tamil literature and one of the greatest Tamil literary figures of all time. He was born in 1882 in the village of Etteyapuram in Tamil Nadu. In a short lifespan of 39 years, Bharati left an indelible mark as a poet of na Tamil nationalism and Indian freedom. Unlike the previous century works in Tamil, which had very complex vocabulary, he used simple words and rhythms in his poems. He also employed noble ideas and techniques like using thalams from folk songs such as Kavadi Chindu, Nundi Chindu, Kummi, Temangu, etc. As a Tamil poet, he was ranked with Ilango Adigal, Thiruvalluvar and Kambar. Bharati was an Indian first and then a Tamil and was actively involved in the Indian freedom struggle. Although he referred to Tamil as his mother, he was fluent in many languages and frequently translated works from other languages into Tamil. A vigorous campaigner for women's rights and against casteism, Bharati's poetry with its progressive reformist zeal was a forerunner to modern Tamil poetry. In his poem, Manadil Urdhivendam, Bharati exhorts us to have firmness of mind, purity in thought, and sweetness in speech. Our hands should be able to touch what we wish to touch, and our dreams should come true. Whatever we want to get, we should get fast. Earn wealth, pleasure, and fame in this world, with our eyes open and actions firm. Women should have freedom. The soil should be fertile, and truth should be stable. Bharati composed Nenjikanidim in praise of the Devi or Goddess, addressed here as a dispenser of moral justice, at whose fiery gates our frail verse burn away. She is a vanquisher of hate and hostility of the people in this world. She is Shakti, bestower of boons and source of power, at whose feet everyone finds solace. Bharati prays to her to remove obstacles in life. Today we have chosen a handful of his songs. Chinnan Cherukile, a song by Subramanya Bharati, celebrates the girl child in an era fraught with widow burning and female infanticide. Bharati fought for the emancipation of women and wrote poems celebrating women's education and empowerment. It is debated if Bharati wrote this song addressed to his daughter or the motherland itself. The singers are Gayatri, Rajesh Nath, Krishna Raj and Ram Murthy. And the elegant dance and choreography is by Tanvi Bhatt. <laughs> Oh 
ओणि वर गईले कन्नम्मा उल्लम कुलिरदडी पाडी तिरदे कंडाल उले पोल आवि तळवदडी चित्तनै मोगंदार गर्वम ओंगि वळरदडी मेचियुनै ओरार पुगंदार मेनि सिलर्कदडी अन्नत्ति मुत्तमिटाल उल्लंतान कल्वरी कोल्लुदडी ீடிலோ கண்ணம்மா உன்மதமாகுதடி உன்னை தழுவீடிலோ கண்ணம்மா உன்மதமாகுதடி உன் கண்ணில் நீர் வழிந்தால் என் நெஞ்சில் ஊதீரம் கொட்டுதடி கண்ணில் நீர் வழிந்தால் என் நெஞ்சில் ஊதீரம் கொட்டுதடி என் கண்ணீர் பாவ என்றோ கண்ணம்மா என் கண்ணீர் பாவ என்றோ கண்ணம்மா என் உயிர் நின்றதென்றோ என் உயிர் நின்றதென்றோ என் உயிர் நின்றதென்றோ Kannamma becomes the Bilabad. In our next song presentation, Sutrumbidi Shudardhan. In one of the most pristine love poems written in the Tamil language, Bharati talks about the radiance of the sun and the moon emanating from the Bilabad's eyes. He goes on to describe her beauty, clad as she is in a silk sari. He sees her in every marvelous creation of nature. and declares his love in no uncertain terms suttum vivi chudardan kannamma suriya chandiraro vatta kariya vivi kannamma vanakarumai kullo பட்டு கருணீல உடவை பதித்த நல் வைரம் நட்ட நடு நிசியில் தெரியும் நட்சத்திரங்களடி சோலை மலர் ஒலிய உனது சுந்தர புன்னகைதான் நீல கடலலே உனது நெஞ்சின் அலைகளடி கோலக்குயில் ஓசை உனது குரலின் இனிமையடி வாழக்குமரியடி கண்ணம்மா மருவ காதல் கொண்டே சாத்திரம் பேசுகிறாய் கண்ணம்மா சாத்திரம் பேது கடி ஆத்திரம் கொண்டவர்க்கே கண்ணம்மா சாத்திரம் உண்டோடி மூத்தவர் சம்மதியில் வதுவை முறைகள் பின்பு செய்வோம் காத்திருப்பே நொடி இது பார் கண்ணத்து முத்தமுண்டு
Hope this has been an interesting journey into the world of bhakti poetry. In our part 2, we will enjoy selections from Tamil poets Avvayar and Andal, the great female poets in Tamil literature.